So in this problem, we're told that the equation 24x squared plus 25x minus 47 over ax minus 2 is equal to minus 8x minus 3 uh, minus 53 over ax minus 2 is true for all values of x where it does not equal 2 over a, where a is a constant. And so we're trying to find the value of a. So how do we go about doing that? So they're asking us for what the value of a is. And so basically what we need to do is solve for a in this equation. And so in order to do that, what we want to do is remove the ax minus 2 on the bottom. And so we can do that by multiplying both sides by ax minus 2. So that would get rid of this here and then get rid of this. So if we multiply ax minus 2 to both sides, uh, this one would cancel. So we would just have 24x uh, squared plus 25x minus 47. But then we're multiplying this side by ax minus 2, right? So ax minus 2 times minus 8x minus 3 minus 53 over ax minus 2. And so if we go ahead and do that, let's start with this part right here. So we have minus 8x minus 3 times ax minus 2. So minus 8x times ax is going to be minus 8ax. And then we do minus 8x times minus 2 which is plus 16x, and then minus 3 times ax is minus 3ax, and then minus 3 times minus 2 is going to be plus 6. And then that only dealt with this part, so we got to do this part right. So the minus 53 over ax minus 2. And so basically when we multiply that, it's just going to cancel the 2, right? So that would cancel with uh, the ax minus 2. So we just have minus 53. So we have this side of the equation, 24x squared plus 25x minus 47 is equal to all this. And so what you should notice is that 24x squared plus 25x minus 47 is equal to minus 8ax. And then right here, this 6 and minus 53, uh, what's going to happen is they're going to combine to minus 47. So you can sign it, you can see the mirroring, right? You have minus 47. Uh, minus 47 and then I forgot right here we're supposed to have an x squared right because we multiplied minus 8x times ax so the x's would become squared I forgot to put that on but when you see these you'll see that these are mirrored basically so since they're mirrored um, 24 is going to have to be equal to minus 8a so minus 8a is going to have to equal to 24 because they're both like quadratic uh, equations right so the front uh of our x squared have to be equal. So if minus 8a has to equal 24, if we divide by minus 8, uh, we're going to get that a equals 24 divided by minus 8, which is minus 3. And you can see that true. Uh, that's true, right? Because if we plug in minus 3 here too, 16x and then minus 3 times uh, minus 3, because a is minus 3, would become plus 9x, which is 25x. So 25x equals the 25x right here. So yeah, that's just a way to check it. So a is going to be equal to minus 3. And so the only one that's going to be work is b. So the answer to this problem is going to be b.